dazzling fireworks will soon light up the sky with nearly 50,000 shells over Manhattan's East River alone. Thousands of residents will hit the beach this weekend, but one New Yorker may not be so thrilled by the celebration. Meet the piping plover, a small migratory shorebird that feeds on various marine worms and other small invertebrate. Most New Yorkers probably don't know, most people don't know that under fewer than 100 piping plovers come to New York City each year. And they're part of a global population of somewhere between six and 8,000. So that is a very small number. And so they are federally listed as a threatened species in New York State and in New Jersey and much of your viewing area. Um, they are an endangered species, right? So this means that they are in danger of going extinct. Chris Alieri launched the New York City Plover Project, a nonprofit with about 100 volunteers dedicated to cleaning the sands and protecting the at-risk birds, located in Fort Tilden, Jacob Rees, and Breezy Point Tip. Unfortunately, when I'm picking up a lot of trash, sometimes we, we still get looked at, right? Like, it's like, you can do this too, you know? Yeah. Like, come on. I've got a balloon, I've got a hat. Oh, that's a hat. I've got okay, that a diaper. This hand sanitizer. I've got, these are, I believe, are old fishing bags for like the bait that yes. people bring. Dave Trevino works with the National Park Service in partnership with the New York City Plover Project and understands while there may be less spots to lie down near the dunes this year, it's for a good cause as these plovers are nesting this July. So you see three different string lines going up the beach. Right. The furthest one was the initial, but that plover nested very close to that initial string line. And it's just a symbolic fencing. But people go up to it and the bird freaks out a little bit and then gets off the nest and stops incubating. And so we do what we call a bump out. And that's that second string line, just so people can go by without the bird getting off the nest. Do you feel that locals really understand what's happening on these beaches in their ecosystem? Just the numbers of people that we have visiting here you know, even if it's 10%, you know, that's still probably thousands of people. And I think it's probably more like 60, 70% that really don't know the natural resources that we have here. These two wildlife supporters have a message for those looking to cool down this summer and share the beach with this threatened species. For us, it is about, you know, staying out of these roped areas. Um, don't, you know, what you carry in, carry it out. Um, no kites, no drones, no fireworks, no dogs, <laughs> but do have fun. You can do all of this. And here's the thing, here's the thing. It's like, at the end of the day, isn't it far more interesting to go to a beach that you can see these species like thriving and surviving? That makes for a far better beach experience. And for a day outside in New York City, I mean, what could be better than that? In Rockaway, I'm Linda Gaudino, News 4 New York.